I really love projectors. I've been using them for years, having a nice setup with one and then, you know, kind of wound up not having space for it. And, you know, let's be real. A lot of people would love to have a projector, but maybe they don't have the proper setup or space or, you know, they don't want to spend tons of money for one. Right. I mean, there's a wide range of projectors out there and they're not all created equal, but I've covered quite a few on my channel. Little tiny projectors, cheap projectors, higher end projectors. But today we're going to be taking a look at something I think is kind of neat. The Wimius Q2 DLP projector. This thing is a smart projector. It has built-in Android system. It can be completely portable. It has a rechargeable battery built into it. A 5,000 milliamp hour battery. You can get about two, two and a half hours of uh, playtime through that. And there's a few neat features here. But, you know, it's going to be up to you to decide. Is this something worthwhile for you? So let's take a quick look. I did uh, record a few tests with this thing. Get some just basic documentation. We're not worried about that. But here is the projector. I really like this setup. It is tiny. A little tiny projector. You have a screen cover. And then on the top, I have not peeled this off yet. But you have a touchpad. So you could... Just simply like, okay, volume down, volume up. It has built-in speakers, not the greatest speakers in the world. But hey, they can get the job done. You can, you know, set up external speakers. It does have Bluetooth as well, that kind of thing. Uh, but you could use this as a mouse within the Android system, home button, back, menu, that kind of thing. You have HDMI. It's like mini HDMI, the power button right there. And then on this side, you have a focus, a little focus wheel, and then USB, and then a... Uh, and then the IR sensor in the back. So if you're going to use the remote, it does have a, a remote with it. you got to be pointed toward the back. If you're on the side, I've noticed they're going from the top or kind of at an angle. It's not doing too well. you got to be behind it, which kind of makes sense. You also get a power cable. Just simple little barrel jack that charges it up. You could leave it plugged in or just use the built-in battery. And then you also do get a remote instead of using the top, like, because this is cool. Don't get it twisted. It's cool that you have this touch, but you see, just barely touch it. It's moving, like, you know, if you're like, oh, even if you're not, like, scrolling across it, if you're just like, hey, let me power, power it up. It's like, you know, wobbling because it has this built-in stand, which is actually really cool. You can also take it off and then, you know, thread it to something else. But you have this stand that you can orientate different ways, bam, stuff like that. That, that's cool. I like that inclusion there. So that, that's pretty nice. But our remote here is just a cheap basic remote that I've seen come with a lot of devices. Gets the job done. You could use it as an air mouse, that kind of thing, but just basic operation. That's it. Power button, boom. Then you do have a USB barrel jack to plug into, you know, charge, boom, put it into a portable battery to get some extra power. And then you do get the HDMI cable, which is good since it uses that like tiny or smaller HDMI. Not everybody has those. So you could plug this thing into multiple devices. But I'm going to showcase some footage and, you know, kind of share my thoughts on this thing real quick. But uh, this is a DLP LED projector. Its resolution is 540p. Supports up to 1080p. And it's like two and a half inches all the way around. So a little two and a half inch cube. They state this is where things get a little twisted, in my opinion, with a lot of these companies. Because while it's not necessarily a lie, it just isn't fair to assume that this is going to work this way. They say projection size from 10 inches to 300 inches. Yes, 10 inches all day, all day, every day, no problem. But 300 inches, that's pushing it, dude. I could get maybe a 60 inch image and not lose too much clarity but it definitely starts losing clarity there's no way you're pushing this thing to 300 inches it's gonna be a blurry mess in my opinion but you also have a wi-fi bluetooth and then uh you do have android built in to be able to you know watch video through youtube or sign into your netflix account that kind of thing it's only android 7 so very outdated not up to date with all the features of android and there's no update available i checked so that kind of sucks but yeah using this thing um i didn't really have high expectations I, I don't really think you should for something this small it gets the job done but as far as like the image clarity it's it's okay it, it gets the job done as long as you're not too 
far away from the projected image. I've shown uh, like being a foot away from a little box that I'm projecting onto up to about eight feet away from a screen that I have put up type of thing. Uh, you know, so it, it, yeah, clarity can be an issue just depending on how far away you are. So then as far as brightness and color accuracy, this is not the brightest of projector ever. And the color accuracy, there's no options within the system that I could find to make any kind of fine tune adjustments to color. But I notice it is off, like it's washed out a bit. Certain colors just don't look right to me uh, comparing to using on other devices. And it's unfortunate you can't change any of that. I mean, it would be nice if there were updates to the system, but through actual, the brand, there's no update says there's nothing available and then through you know an android update there's no updates so i'm not finding any options to make fine-tune adjustments there but it still can be okay i guess i mean this is not a high-end projector at all it does have a cool feature that i do kind of like uh, with the auto keystone correction so that's always a big thing uh, especially with a portable projector if you're moving this thing around you don't have it permanently fixed to something and set up you know you're going to have to be making all these little adjustments to the the shape and size, how you have it uh, orientated to the screen to make sure it's perfectly square. While this is not the most feature rich as far as keystone correction that I've ever seen, but for a small, tiny projector to have auto keystone is really awesome. But it's just, uh, you know, the vertical. You're not getting that horizontal. So to have this dead on straight in front of a screen if you make any kind of little tiny adjustment to angle, it will readjust that that you know vertical keystone there. So it'll it'll recenter it, make it square. Not perfect. Doesn't always get it exactly the way it should be, but it does work decently well. So overall, I think this is a cool little projector. It's not something I would ever recommend to have as your like permanent. Uh, you know, home theater projector, but to have something little that you could take around, put in the kid's room one night or go out in the backyard, that type of thing, take it with you on a trip. It is really neat. It, it's definitely a cool thing. Price point wise, this thing, I, I don't really like the way a lot of companies do this. They'll have like a crazy price listed on Amazon. Then they'll have like a crazy coupon. That's what they're doing here as well. But, you know, you can get this for under $200, around the $180 price point with the coupon they have on Amazon and then an additional coupon that they've given me to share with you guys if you put it in, if you're interested. It's neat, you can do better, but you know, if this is something you're looking for, a little tiny portable projector, it is kind of cool. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, bye.